Let's take a quick little socket and talk about buying an auction saw. Alright, so I generally don't buy stuff at auctions, only because I'm never around when there's an auction to buy it. But I do, I do buy stuff from people who get stuff from auction. So I just did a video, I just uploaded a video, or it'll be right one side of this one. Um, it was on a 41 Husqvarna, and that was an auction saw. And it had a broken off handle. So you know, or you have a pretty good idea why that one, you know, why it's not being used, why it was being sold. So an older saw, it's a little, just using this for a stand-in, but, uh, you know, a saw like this, an older saw, not a lot of value there. And then when you go and break a handle, if you got to buy a handle for $30, $40 and pay someone to have it put on, you know, you're looking at 100 bucks to fix it. Well, I'd fix it myself. This is a handle that I just replaced. You notice it's a little bit different than the one that's on it. Um, this is a 42 side cover, I think. I just replaced this handle for a friend of mine. But that handle came off of this Poulin. They're the same. They're exactly the same down here. These ones here... You know, they come pretty much straight out. This one comes up and goes up. It's, it's not, not a big deal. Um, I can buy this brand new off Amazon for like 15 bucks. If I go to local small engine place to buy a replacement Husqvarna handle, they want $35 for the handle. If they don't have it in stock, they're going to make me wait a week and charge me. 10% I think it is, something like that, to bring it in. I can get the one off Amazon for the same amount of time and a quarter of the price. So, if you're looking for a saw and there's something very obvious that's broken, like a handle, I'm more willing to pay a little more money for that than the other one. Uh, take, a, take a look at that other video. You can see it's a great little saw. All I did was made it a carburetor adjustment. I replaced the brake band, now this little piece here, and I put a handle on it, a barn chain, but anyway, so if you're buying stuff at auction, if it's, if it's obvious what's wrong with it, you know, don't overlook it. Don't say, oh, that one's broken. I don't want it because you might end up with like the one I got a real simple fix, great saw or, you know, anything doesn't necessarily have to be a saw. Compared to another one you might buy, like you might go and buy this one, and uh, it's got an oiling issue and nobody can figure out what it is. So my cousin brought me this one. It's got an oil issue. It's oiling, but not enough. He put new oiler in it, still not oiling. He took it to somebody else. They said it was junk. He brought it to me, but he didn't bring the whole saw. I think he's got the wrong barrel on it because I had it apart. The oiler's fine. There's nothing plugged. Everything's in good shape. It's probably not lining up with the oil port. So I asked him to bring the rest of his parts. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Enough rambling, and I'll see you on the next one.